Um, so I added in enhanced acute treatment services, sometimes referred to as EATS. Um, this terminology might be state specific to Massachusetts, um, but I do think that there's probably similar levels of care um, in various states across the US. Um, and I add it in here because as I said, there's a high comorbidity of, of, of mental health, depression specifically and substance use. So this is also a more um, substance use focused level of care, but individuals do meet with a psychiatrist for medication management um, and do have some one-on-one -on -one, um, programming and some of the group content may also include then mental health symptoms that they're experiencing. Um, it's a similar structure to um, the crisis community stabilization unit. Um, in this placement, individuals can detox um, and then step over to a, a community crisis stabilization unit if a bed is available because they can't manage substance use there um, to focus more on the mental health. Those two work well together if that continuity can happen. Um, and, and so, you know, historically, we've really separated substance use and mental health. Um, we've siloed these and that complicates things. Treatment is, is set up usually for people to kind of start with one and then address the other, but we know that they're really integrated. Um, and it's, it's hard to know like, which one do I address first? Um, so EATS is, is a decent level of care to kind of start, I guess, looking at both and helping people do that. It's also a voluntary level of care. So people have to want to be there. 